this is going to be a daily reading for today, Monday, April 29th. I was debating on just kind of skipping through Mondays, doing Tuesdays, but I don't know. They said, no, go do Monday, do Monday. So we're going to do Monday. Hope everybody had a beautiful weekend. Um, I posted the intimate reading. It was titled something like, it's official, they're obsessed. And clearly, some people don't have a personality, so be for some dry asses, who take everything literally. And we know that we don't want to entertain someone who is overly obsessed. See, the fact that I even have to address it and break it down is so infuriating to me. Because these, like I always tell you guys, are like the one, two, threes, ABCs of some shit. And if you don't understand the fact that it's coming from a place of, first of all, humor. Because, you know, it's an intimate deck. And second of all, this would be where as high up here as we are in our ascension process, we recognize that, you know, we wouldn't entertain anything that is toxic, too extreme. But it's like a saying, you know, when people are like super in love or you love something, you say, I'm totally obsessed with that. I just absolutely love cheese pizza. I'm like obsessed with cheese pizza. Do you see what I'm saying? So for the dry asses who are going to like twist and turn and, and email and DM me, don't. Get a, get, get a sense of humor first, okay? And then realize it's not literal. Okay, it's like when we say somebody is really into something, I'm super into it. And that's the way I speak too. So you would have to know the way that I speak and communicate to understand when I say that. It wouldn't be like, I'm a serious dry ass with a stick up my ass and I say, they're obsessed with you. No, you gotta know me and my humor, motherfuckers, okay? Now, here we go. This is general. This will not resonate with everybody. Time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So let's see what we got. Ooh. Mmm. The Hierophant. It sounds weird, okay? But in my head, I just heard dun 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 dun. Because a Hierophant is like a blessing, right? It could be like spirituality. This could be marriage commitment something of this sort but in my head i heard it was like a, it was like an announcement i heard dun, 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 dun. something's gonna be announced could be announced by a priest maybe a priest is marrying you guys and it's like this formal like coming out it's something with this dun dun dun, dun. and it's not those trumpets that you know back in the day like medieval times or whatever it was when they would do that horn thing and then announce things and drop the scrolls and shit that they were carrying. That's all I hear. I literally hear dun 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 dun. The Hierophant is number five, Roman numeral V. So five is significant of changes. Something changes and it's announced. Who knows? Maybe for some of you, it's this commitment of we're getting engaged now, it's announced. It's I signed a contract for work or career, and now it's announced. Something is dun 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 dun, it's announced. I don't know how else to put it. Yes, it can also symbolize for some of you guys, um, you know, marriage and commitment and such, but it feels more like an announcement and a coming out. And it's something feels very spiritual. I don't know. could be like a hand fasting thing something spiritual about this and it also is okay so the high the hierophant would be the counterpart to the high priestess right one time somebody wrote me some shit on my videos and this is why i said you guys gotta stay in your own lanes okay because you were channeling and you don't know what's in our minds but anyway somebody wrote to me and said because one time i said the high priestess and the um hierophant was counterparts and they wrote me back and said no they're not no they're not the High Priestess, it's counterparts with the Magician. Not over here, boo. This is the counterpart to the High Priestess. This is my channel. This is my shit. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> the Hierophant is a male priest. The High Priestess is a female priestess. 
So yes, they're counterparts, okay? I don't, I'm sorry, they, that's just counterparts in my head. Um, stay in your lanes, okay? Um, this is a male energy or, or, or a masculine energy who has, it's like they're going to be announcing their spirituality somehow. And it's not really an announcement, it's maybe an owning of it. I, I'm owning this. It could have been where somebody was pushing away, pushing away, pushing away, denying, denying, denying. But then it's almost as if their powers or gifts are bubbling over. And this would be a person that is not trying to be magical. And, and it's not magic. This is just somebody who is born naturally, really highly spiritual, and they have a huge mission. So funny, too, because um, Destiny from Queen Cup, Tarot, please follow her. She's fucking amazing. And when you do tell her I sent you. Uh, she did a reading for me. And, you know, the high priest energy is this type of an energy that I would match up with you know the hierophant because of where i am in my spirituality so this would be what i'm saying is like the equal to that the match could be a taurus too but this is somebody who is getting more comfortable in their spirituality skin if i can say it that way and it's The dun 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 can also be like this announcing of, not announcing, oh my god, I'm spiritual. Again, don't be, lit, it's not literal. It would be this thing about maybe just owning their shit and going, I think I'm fucking psychic. <laughs> I think I'm fucking psychic. I, I, I don't know, I don't understand all these things that are happening. I don't understand why I'm predicting things and two seconds later they're happening. I'm not understanding this. And then they're starting to feel this like draw. This has already happened. I don't think this has not happened yet. They felt a draw to kind of research things or as always is the case with awakenings, things magically fell in their laps. This could be, uh, this could be a masculine a, a divine masculine that has that is almost to the frequency that they need to be for union i know i went around, i went around 17 times and and i went through 15 blocks to get to where i went but that's the way they took me um they know i like from a through fucking b direct but sometimes my guides they just they gotta take me around and around and around and around i think it's because of the different perspectives for you guys too Somebody who's ascended. This is a divine masculine's energy, a masculine that's ascended. And they're, it's something spiritual. They're, they're either really gifted intuitively. They could be really, really gifted healing-wise, but it's not healing in the sense of like, a doctor although maybe some are but I just don't feel that that's what this is it's healing in another way shape or form I always say that you know people again the literal motherfuckers they, they take the healing thing literally you can the healing comes in all shapes and forms people who are entertainers are healers people who are hairdressers and makeup artists do some sort of healing also because you, you people will come to you and then you know you kind of make them feel better about themselves it's like because remember this now, the part about being a healer is we're not healing the person. We are giving this person tools or we are cracking them open for them to heal themselves. I want to move on from the, from the Hierophant, but they won't let me. You see on the card, there's two keys on the bottom. And if you've been following me since last year, you will have heard me channel the key before, the lock and the key. They're, and in the intimate reading that I just did, I talked about how two people were like the perfect fit, like a key in a lock. That's what I'm feeling here with this Hierophant. This would be like, number one, someone's unlocking their spirituality. 
um not a wannabe either i there's some people out there that are wannabes and i did say what i i said what i said they're wannabes they want to be like warlocks and like witches and things of this sort where the rest of us it's this natural thing that we're born this way and we don't try and press it and force it i'm not talking about that this is not a masculine energy who's trying to be this like nicholas cage from like the sorcerers the you know <laughs> the sorcerers apprentice no this is a person is born naturally like this and born naturally powerful but it's unlocking itself and these two people this high priestess and this hierophant or this god and goddess because that's the way i could explain it put it this way it's basically that like these two people have god and goddess frequencies and vibrations but because they're super highly spiritual or have these extraordinary gifts that they've come here and they have a mission for healing and shit this is what puts them more into the category of hierophant and high priestess okay hopefully i explained that enough and again, I apologize, but I just kind of go with what they're showing and telling me. Because I'm an Aquarius. I like to be blunt and I like things straightforward to me. You have here the Ten of Pentacles. Just extreme abundance. These two people will be extremely stable together. But I feel like both separately stand on their own two feet very confidently. And I don't feel like money is an issue with either. Now, Ten of Pentacles can also be about, um, well, yes, financial abundance. But it can also be about long-term commitment, right? Because Pentacles are years. So you got these two cards like this. This is either significant of a very long-term committed relationship or this is going to be marriage. Okay? Now, this can also be seen as someone entering into a contractual agreement that locks you into something. This can also be for career. And if that is for career, this would be something extremely fucking lucrative with the Ten of Pentacles. Highly lucrative. This would be a huge fucking offer. This wouldn't be something where it's like peanuts. No. This is like, this is Skrilla's. With the ten of pentacles it would bring extreme stability here extreme somebody manifested it too they man whatever this is that you're signing for if this is like a career opportunity somebody manifested this career opportunity like very magician energy the world travel involved too I just heard in my head we're off to see the wizard the wizard wizard of oz i don't know how that last line goes we're off to see the wizard the wonderful wizard of oz or some shit like that right that's how it goes it's been so long years since i've watched that movie why the fuck am i hearing that in my head someone here has been on some type of a journey the story about that is remember when they actually get to the wizard he's not what he seemed something tells me that's what the, the bottom line is with that particular story and not only that there's many different lessons in the wizard of oz one of them is the most important one there's no place like home someone here could have been all around and done all of these things and then realized that's not where it's at Somebody here could have been a person that has was already successful and done traveling and really, really well manifested. Maybe they're rich, famous. I don't know what this would be. And they've been all around and have realized that's not what I want. That's not where it's at. The world is Saturnian lessons. If I'm not mistaken, Saturn, I want to say, is going retrograde or already has. Saturn is all about... <sighs> I mean, that's the big daddy of karma. Keep getting justice too, right? That's karma. Saturnian lessons. Completion. Remember yesterday I said I heard the book close? Boom. End of it. And then the, the, the payouts happening right now. 
the payouts, whether it's good or bad, this is the payouts. Why does this reading feel so all over the place? I, I trust it already though. Like sometimes it's like it doesn't make sense to me at all what I'm channeling, but for other people it might. And it's just my job to just go and channel what I feel. Because it's just... Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> so you have here the devil, Capricorn. And, I, and, and people don't come at me because I say the devil is Capricorn. I didn't come up with the, with the decks. People get so offended. People in this day and age in 2019 get offended over every motherfucking thing. They're offended that some Capricorns will write to me as if I'm the one who created it, that the devil is their thing. Bitch, I didn't do shit. Please, for fuck's sake, I'm a Capricorn moon. I have too many things to do other than piss and moan and grumble that the devil is my sign for my zodiac sign. I just, you can tell today is just one of them days, honey. It's festering. <laughs> People can, do, I love all God's children, but some of you get on my last motherfucking nerves. I'm sorry. It's just what it is. Um, it's just me being real. Okay, so this would be some type of a codependent energy, codependent behavior. This can also be self-sabotage. And the reason that I feel it's self-sabotage is because these two cards came out together. The Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups can be water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's also somebody who's open and receptive. They're, you know, they are nurturing. They want to give. And they also are good at receiving. The Four of Cups, though, is this card of unrequited. I'm not giving you anything, and you're not giving me anything. It's just no even exchange of I give, I get. And, and I talked about this, actually, in the intimate reading, where I talk about we cannot let past behaviors from other motherfuckers affect you with something new that comes in right now yes we have to take everything we've learned that's what the saturnian lessons are what did we learn in our past karmic cycles we learned what the signs look like we learned that we don't accept crumbs and that we also don't engage in toxic situations this is about trust somebody here has to trust themselves and not worry about falling back into fuckery and not worry about what's happened in the past because if you're constantly worrying about what happened in the past that will fuck you up for the future because it's as if you know that's what they say about worrying right worrying takes away from today takes away from the present because what if what you're worrying about doesn't even happen so then what happens is you just wasted all of that time putting that energy out into the universe, which you actually might end up manifesting. Gets real tricky when you're talking about, you know, manifestations and law of attraction. Now you also have the lovers. Lovers could be Gemini. The lovers is a decision in love. It, it is two people coming together, as I talked about in the beginning of this reading, where I talked about this male energy, divine masculine energy, comes into full power, right? and is almost ready for like basically union. This God is going to be reuniting with his goddess or this high priestess with this hierophant, however you want to put it. Even if you haven't met in this life, you would have, if this is old because this would have been many lives from the past before. This is, uh, it's a reuniting, but it's, we can only reunite once we both get there. Once we both get to the right frequency, the frequency of I've learned all my lessons. This is why the Saturn card right here is beautiful. Anytime something goes retrograde, it's this time of reflection and this time to reevaluate and reassess. And it is this time of reflection on what did we learn. Pluto's also in retrograde too. Extreme sexual attraction here between two people, too, with the double card and the lovers. Extreme sexual connection. Something flipped over. The magician, yeah, and I felt that earlier. 
very magician energy. Somebody manifested it. That's what I just said earlier. I could feel that. It's super like, and so it is type of an energy. And not people who are fucking with magic too. A lot of the, like I said, a lot of wannabes want to fuck with some shit. Don't fuck with magic if you don't know what you're doing. Leave that to the experienced people. Because you can have it backfire on you and come back on you tenfold. Don't fucking try it if you don't know what you're doing. Like, honestly, don't even try it. Like, you have to be so careful. It's opening this huge can of worms when fucking with those types of things. Be careful. But this is somebody who didn't, wasn't doing magic. They were somebody who spoke it into existence. And not only did they speak it into existence, this is about law of attraction like attracts like their vibration called these things into them and vice versa whoever it is they're attracting in so for many of you you're going to find that all of a sudden the abundance starts rolling in for you right and it is because probably you've really cleared out that karmic scale and that all those karmic lessons and not only that you have become a vibrational match to this abundance Listen to your intuition yet again. We're constantly getting meditation brings answers and listen to your intuition. I talked about that in the beginning of this reading with the Hierophant. The male divine masculine energy. Now I say male, but it could also be female. But feels like a male masculine. Um... It was like their gut, like their list, like, like everything's just kind of, it's so overwhelming for this dude who I feel like wasn't fucking with nothing spiritual at all. It was so overwhelming for him, but it all is going to just like make sense if not already. It's like everything just kind of gets revealed to them and it just starts to make sense of like why all of a sudden, like it, it's one of those things where they're going to say like, I've always been been pretty good at like feeling people out and like knowing that you know what people are thinking what they're going to say but it's almost as if now it's something's it's almost like official or something i don't know why they make me feel with the dun -dun -dun -dun. it's like announcing to the world or something fuck i don't know what this is about anyways you have get more information with this metric like Geom geometrical shapes it's very melchizedek very brotherhoodish. i'm not going to get into melchizedek and the brotherhood but if you're curious about that go google it very 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 divine masculine type of an energy here getting feeling the call is what i just heard a lot of divine masculines are hearing the call from their brotherhood that's what the dun -dun -dun -dun. oh my god it's the call. Call to action, like in the judgment card. But it it wasn't in an it wasn't like it is like this this frequency or this tune that gets put out there that activates something. It's almost like it's a code thing too, which would be very Melchizedek in the Brotherhood to have codes because it's very like Da Vinci Code-ish shit, right? It's very like, uh, it's, uh, people, some people would say it like fucking Illuminati-ish or whatever. Um, it's very, has like these secretive codes to it. So maybe what I hear in my head duh, 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 is really not what the what the sound is that they hear. I don't know, but that's the way they're making me sound. It's like this attention. Whatever it is, they're they're hearing the call. This ain't every man walking this earth either. If you believe, wow, and it's another. Look at these star here with the geometric symbols around it. If you believe fate here is going to prove all there's something here with this star there's a name for it too and i can't think of it on the top of off the top of my head i want to read the if you believe card and then we're going to end this i saw i'm so sorry that it kind of went all over the place but that's what it is energy is kind of all over the place what you need right now is faith you can have what you desire, but you must believe that it can be so. Stay positive and visualize the outcome you're hoping for. Set aside all negativity or pessimism in favor of a sunny outlook. 
The law of attraction brings to us what we expect to receive. If our perception is that we deserve great things, then we will attract happiness. If we fall into doubt and don't believe in our own self-worth, then our experiences will match that energy. Believe in yourself and your cherished dreams. That is really big. Really big. Um, I guess we're going to end this here. I know this was kind of all over the place, but I have a feeling that for a group of people, this is going to make total perfect fucking sense to them. And remember, general readings would mean that not the whole reading could apply to you. Maybe for some people, the whole thing does. And for some, only snippets of it are, are going to be like, yes, yes, yes. And you know, that's just the way it is. Time is an illusion. Energy is fluid, right? So this may not resonate right now, but it could next week. Or this may have already happened for some of you guys, okay? Anyways, if you would like to book a reading with me, even though I'm going to slow down a little bit, I'm still going to accept, you know, readings here and there. I'm going to kind of pick and choose through it. You can click on the link below or the box below and all of my shit is there, okay? Um, my bracelets are sold out. The uh, A Star is Born is completely sold out. I am debating on adding more, but I'm not positive on that yet, okay? So this is why I always tell people when I when I put a bracelet out, you got to jump because people sit and wait and they they sell like this. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet about the Star is Born. And I want to say the good luck bracelet is sold out too. And if it's not, there's only a couple left. I don't remember. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to see you guys real soon. I'm going to do Tuesdays because I want to see if this energy is going to shift. This was shit was all over the damn place, wasn't it? That's life though. Everything's kind of all over the place. It's a beautiful mess. And with, you know, with, with Pluto in retrograde and with Saturn going retrograde soon, if it hasn't already, this is a big time period for many of us for reflection and not just for reflection. I feel like it's almost, you know, like how when you pull the arrow back, anytime you, it's, it's a pullback. It, they're pulling you back before they launch you, before they, you quantum leap. Maybe it's a time to, to fix your target. To go back to fix anything that needs fixing kind of feels very go back in time-ish. Odd, right? But that's kind of what I feel. And clearly we're not going back in time. Or are we? I mean, I'm a time walker myself. But for other people, maybe this is just fixing things from past lives, right? Where we are healing things from past lives. Ah, here I go. I was ending the reading and here we go. We're going to end this. But this would be a time period for us to go back to fix or heal or address anything from past lives, anything past. I love you guys, bye.